Hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to do an example on designing a NOR gate circuit. So as you can see here, we have an AND OR circuit and we want to convert to all NOR gates. And as you can see here, I have noted that in this um, circuit, in this design, uh, we are allowed to put an inverter in the output of the circuit. So what we have to do, we have to go through the previous procedures that we talked about. So for co um, converting into NOR gates, into all NOR gates, you know that you have to convert all your, so instead of all your NOR gates, uh, sorry, instead of all your OR gates, you have to put a NOR gate. And instead of all your AND gates, you have to put a NOR gate with this design. So as you all know, this is one alternative design of a NOR gate. Okay, so this is the first step that we have to do. So let's do that together. So I'm going to put the bubbles on this circuit, on the main circuit here. So this should be a NOR gate, NOR gate, and then this AND gate should be a NOR gate with the bubbles at the input. And the same thing for this one. Then here we have an OR, which becomes a NOR, and here we have this NOR gate. Okay, now, next step is that to look at the outputs and inputs of each gate. So if an inverted output of a gate is driving an inverted input of another gate, then we don't have to do anything because that um, two bubbles will cancel each other eventually. So what I mean is for this interconnection, so as you can see, we have uh, an inverted output, an inverted input, right? The same thing for here, and then we don't have any other, right? So now we have to go to the next step, which is if we have an uninverted output driving an inverted input or vice versa, then we have to place a um, NOT gate before between that input and output. By that, I mean, so look at the output to this NAND gate, it is not inverted, right? And it is driving an inverted input. So I do have to put an inverter here, correct? And the same thing is valid for this one because that vice versa is for here. So it is an inverted output is driving a non-inverted input, right? And then Next step is that if there is a variable which is an input to, uh, which is driving an inverted input. So basically, if you look at variable E, it is driving an inverted input, right? I have to go ahead and complement that variable. And since here they said that an inverted, an inverter is uh, in the output is allowed, then we have to place an inverter here as well. So my um, output won't be inverted, okay? And the rest of the variables like A prime, B, C, D prime, F and G prime, we don't have to do anything with them because they are the variables that are um, driving a non-inverted input to these NOR gates. So what I mean are these variables here, okay? All right, so I hope you understand how we can um, convert to all NOR gates. Um, thank you for watching.